It is 8.40, and on our Bronson Health Chat segment for this week, Bronson Women's Service is celebrating its 25th anniversary, and since its establishment, Bronson Women's Service has grown into the largest and longest-running midwifery practice in the state of Michigan. Sonia Dadasandu is a certified nurse midwife at Bronson Women's Service and joins us to tell us more here on WKZO this morning. Sonia, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. What is midwifery, and how is it different from seeing a traditional OBGYN? So midwifery is a woman-centered and empowering model of healthcare, Um, and there's many types of midwives in the U.S. who practice in different settings, and like you said, I'm a certified nurse midwife at Bronson, and I practice, along with my colleagues at Bronson, full-scope midwifery in a hospital and our office setting. And midwives are guided by a philosophy of care that's focused on empowering women in their own health decisions through shared decision-making. So we want to work with women as active participants in their own health and acknowledge their life experiences and their personal knowledge. Well, what can an expectant mom expect when she uh, sees a midwife for her obstetrics care? Right. So when you come into our office, it's going to look like um, very similar to any traditional obstetric visit. We'll discuss a woman's medical history and recommend appropriate lab work and ultrasounds and other testing. What may feel a little different is that we're going to spend additional time really assessing a woman's needs and let those guide our support and care. And we also want to provide additional information about prenatal care and health that allows women to make their own decisions about their pregnancy. So an example of that from our office is that we are doing a labor partnership with women. And in the third trimester, we use this form to kind of help guide her um, questions and experience about the environment in the room, the monitoring of the baby, what pain management she might want to use in her birth, and answer some questions and allow women to prepare and really be active participants in the decision-making around their birth. Um, And the other thing that we're doing in that same line in terms of working with women to do education is to offer first and third trimester classes to provide information about prenatal health and answer questions and can help allay fears and provide useful information. So now when it's time to deliver the baby, uh, what are the unique things that a, uh, a midwife will offer? I think one of the most unique things is labor support. So as a midwife, um, we do our best to be present in the labor room and support women, not just through those final moments of birth, but through the stages of labor. And research really shows us that bedside support of a woman during her labor and birth improves her birth outcomes and decreases her C-section risk. We also honor the normalcy of birth and support it as a physiologic process, which means that we're using technology and interventions appropriately, but not overusing them. Um, And as a group of midwives, we strive to use up-to-date medical evidence to guide our recommendations for labor and birth. And at Brownson Women's Service, our group of 16 midwives um, we're a collaborative practice with eight OBGYNs who we can consult if necessary. Sonia Dada Sundu is a certified nurse midwife at Bronson Women's Service with us on our Bronson Health Chat segment. So uh, now the the baby has been born. Uh, does the mom uh, still come to the midwife for care after the baby is born? They do, and that's something that a lot of people don't know. But midwives are able to provide care across a woman's lifespan. Um, and care for pregnant women and care for women who do not choose pregnancy. So that includes gynecologic care, such as annual exams and pap smears and contraception, um, STD testing, and visits for gynecologic problems or concerns. In addition, within our scope of practice is care for the newborn during the first 28 days of life, although we don't do that at our practice at this time, um, and treatment of male partners for sexually transmitted infections. And I really enjoy seeing women for pregnancy and birth and then continuing that relationship when they come for their well-woman visits. So now if a woman would like to see a midwife, uh, what should she do? Well, so as I said, we have 16 midwives at Bronson Women's Service, and we have two locations, and we're accepting new patients. So we have a location in downtown Kalamazoo at Bronson in the North Pavilion and in South Haven at Bronson South Haven Hospital. And if you'd like to see one of us, you just call 
800-868-7979. Well, as we mentioned, Bronson Women's Service is celebrating its 25th anniversary. Are there things you're doing to commemorate that? We are. We are having a 25 years of women's wellness celebration, um, and that's going to be next Thursday, October 4th, from 5 to 7 in the Bronson Gilmore Center for Health Education. Sonia Dada Sundu is a certified nurse midwife at Bronson Women's Service with us on our Bronson Health Chat segment for this morning. And I want to thank you for sharing this important information with us this morning. Well, thanks so much for having me. I'm, um, we're all privileged here at BWS to continue our tradition and be the largest midwifery practice in southwest Michigan.